the president is returning to Washington this afternoon after attending Easter services with his family in Palm Beach. But he's also tweeting and talking today about immigration and the border wall, saying, quote, Border Patrol agents are not allowed to properly do their job at the border because of ridiculous liberal Democrat laws like catch and release. Getting more dangerous. Caravans coming. Republicans must go to nuclear option to pass tough laws now. No more DACA deal. Mexico has got to help us at the border. If they're not going to help us at the border, it's a very sad thing between two countries. Mexico has got to help us at the border. And a lot of people are coming in because they want to take advantage of DACA. And we're going to have to really see. They had a great chance. The Democrats blew it. They had a great, great chance. But we'll have to take a look. But Mexico has got to help us at the border. They flow right through Mexico. They send it to the United States. Can't happen that way anymore. Thank you. There was a report on a cable news station about uh, these caravans, these migrants, and the president responded to what he saw on television via Twitter as he often does, calling for, as you noted previously, the nuclear option uh, within the Senate for Republicans to pass new immigration laws, something that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said that he simply will not do. The president then went further on Twitter, attacking the Mexican government. He writes, quote, Mexico is doing very little, if not nothing, at stopping people from flowing into Mexico through their southern border and then into the U.S. They laugh at our dumb immigration laws. They must stop the big drug and people flows, or I will stop their cash cow, NAFTA, need wall. Uh, before I get to a, a second tweet, I did want to make a couple of notes on this one. The president uh, yet again threatening to pull out of the North American Free Trade Agreement, something that he has long uh, said that he would do if Mexico does not do more to improve trade deals with the United States and doesn't do more on immigration. Though we should know that the president here isn't asking Mexico to pay for the wall, something that he did many, many times, as you know, Ryan, during the campaign. And that's noteworthy because just this week, uh, we heard from officials at the Pentagon, the president had been discussing with uh, the Secretary of Defense, James Mattis, the potential for the Department of Defense to fund the border wall, the $25 billion that he's requested to construct it. Now, here's the second tweet from President Trump. He writes, quote, these big flows of people are all trying to take advantage of DACA they want in on the act. It's not exactly clear what the president means by this because anyone that arrives in the United States uh, today or even yesterday or a few months ago wouldn't be eligible for DACA. Eligibility notwithstanding, the president ended the program back in September, though courts have since ruled that dreamers that are here in the United States are eligible to stay and that the program can continue until they finally decide uh, exactly what to do. Renewals are still available for DACA, but it's not like anyone that's arriving in these flows that he's talking about can use that program, Ryan. Yeah, an important distinction there, Boris. Uh, if you're already here and a recipient of the DACA program, you can renew. But if you're part of this migrant group try, attempting to get over the border, it wouldn't apply to you today. Uh, some other interesting things happening in West Palm Beach, Boris. The Secret Service investigating vandalism at the Trump International Golf Club. What exactly happened? Yeah, th this is an interesting uh, story, uh, uh, kind of a strange development. It appears that overnight someone uh, threw red paint on top of a sign that's at the entrance of the Trump National Golf Course here in Palm Beach, where the president likes to spend uh, his mornings on the weekend. Uh, it does not look like the president was there when this happened. Uh, some uh, teams with the press saw officials uh, cleaning it up this morning. It appears that the Secret Service is investigating and that the president was not there when this took place, so there was no uh, real danger at that time, Ryan. All right, uh, Boris Sanchez in West Palm Beach, Florida. Boris, thank you. So let's talk about all of this now. Uh, and here with me is Washington Bureau Chief for the Chicago Sun-Times, Lynn Sweet, and Time Magazine contributor Jay Newton-Small. Uh, Lynn, let's start with you. Uh, the president in a tweet this morning saying no more DACA deal, and he's really putting the blame on Democrats after watching a report on television. Uh, did the president just shatter any more hope for the dreamers? Uh, let's, let's take a look at the many ways that he has made a very... Uh, this is a Easter holiday weekend, Passover holiday weekend. So right before he did those tweets, Ryan, 
and Jay, he also said Happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> so, so DACA could be resurrected. You know, Jay and I and you, you cover Congress. Nothing is really ever dead. Rather, things just haven't happened yet, which is kind of where DACA is now. So, so the the abundant ironies in these tweets are: he's the one who ended DACA. There would have been a DACA if he had done nothing. Uh, then this kind of really weird thing where he's accusing people wanting to come over the border for a DACA program that doesn't exist, and he needs to be reminded he's the one who ended it. So in summary, this is another tough punch in the gut for people, real people, mm -hmm. who are dreamers, who are on pins and needles, stress, anxiety over what their future is and the future of people in their family coupled with more, you know, with, with these tough uh, deportations going on. And to have to do this on Easter, it couldn't wait a day. Yeah, it's important to point out, Lynn, it's more than just a political football here. Yes. There are families involved. Real people. Yeah. yeah.